As part of 8.3, I want to talk about uh, WordPress site performance improvements with a uh, Cloudflare free plan and configuring a cloud run domain mapping to work with a Cloudflare proxy DNS uh, records. As it was done originally in uh, as part of uh, section five, which was pointing domain name on a Cloudflare uh, to point to cloud uh, run uh, service, I uh, mapped it to only work as uh, DNS only. So if we go to our records, uh, we have a, re a record. So this is what I did as part of the step five. I have a, a record, which is pointing, uh, well, to Google Cloud uh, Run instance, and it's DNS only. And what I want to do now is I want to uh, remove this uh, DNS uh, record. Well, I don't need to remove it. I can just, uh, yeah, I'll need to remove it. <laughs> okay, I'll just remove it, and I'll do delete. And now I'll add a new record, which is going to be a C name. Uh, it's going to point to root. And this, uh, the target is going to be this address, which is ghs.gobolhosted.com. And I will select uh, to use the proxy status uh, to be on. And I'll also flatten uh, the, the C name. Yep. And uh, this is the only thing we need to do. And I will uh, click Save. Okay, not available to the zone. That is a weird one. Okay, I'll uh, leave it off. I'll just save it like this. And now we have our uh, hazard.cloud record pointing to a uh, this target and the status is proxied and what i want to do is kind of opposite of what i did in the step five where now ssl tls encryption from off i'll configure it to be full so select it to be full and i will save this and uh that's that's about it now i'll give it uh, some time for the the dns record to be uh update see the records have been already updated and now if we go to um, hazard.cloud it should work and that's it now we have our site with uh running behind proxy to set up and we're ready to use uh, all of this cloudflare uh, uh functionalities and uh, cache options so let's um, get to Let's talk about uh, A32 Cloudflare uh, speed optimizations, which can be found under speed uh, and uh, under optimizations. You literally just want to have everything enabled as it is by default. Um, yeah, always using TPS. We don't want this enabled in particular for Cloud Run. Otherwise, it's going to break our certificate renewal uh, process. And under observability, yeah. Um, in Amsterdam base, and this is an Amsterdam region, but if run uh, a speed test, let's see what uh, that uh, will return for us. And we got uh, 89, which I think is still fast considering Iowa is insanely far uh, compared to Amsterdam. So uh, with that said, uh, let's move uh, to the next section. So let's talk about uh, A33, which is sending uh, Cloudflare uh, caching roles with uh, Edge TTL or CDN. So for that, we will go to uh, caching and we'll go to cache rules. There were, won't be uh, any rules and uh, we will create a new and uh, we can call it uh, cache everything uh, with uh, Oh, with it. yeah, edge TTL, and basically, I want to cache all incoming requests all that are eligible for a uh, cache, and we want to enable uh, edge uh, TTL in this case. So, what uh, edge TTL It's part of the edge uh, CDN and is a setting that determines how long cache uh, content is stored on Cloudflare's uh, edge servers before it uh, expires and needs to be uh, refreshed from the origin uh, uh, server. 
So in this case, we will just uh, select to use cache control header if present. Cache request uh, with a Cloudflare's uh, default TTC for the response status uh, if not. And uh, that's uh, about uh, it. We can uh, save this. Uh, well, we can. And uh, that's it. That's a really cool uh, feature that you can use and it's free of charge. So let's talk about uh, configuring uh, cache with a tier caching and cache reserved, which is available in the caching uh, section. I'll go tiered cache. And uh, I will select, uh, normally it's disabled. Uh, it's disabled, well, and now uh, I will enable it. Once that's, once that's enabled, I'm also going to go to the cache reserve. And I'll need to enable the storage sync. And I will enable it. Uh, you will need to add uh, your uh, credit card information for this, but it's very minimal uh, cost. So um, that's, uh, that's also enabled, or you can skip this if you don't want to provide your credit card information. So let's talk about uh, Cloudflare uh, site security settings. So in the security section, uh, we go to the settings. And one, uh, basically, they should all be enabled. Uh, they are by default, this, in particular, these two options. And this uh, option I really find useful as it's set to medium, but uh, you can also set to a uh, literally under attack. If you see something is happening and then you got to be prompted to uh, uh, to fill out a captcha like uh, settings, but uh, this is uh, this is the one I would pay most attention to, and uh, you can set it uh, high as 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 you wish, but uh, literally that's that's it when it comes to uh, these type of settings. So let's talk about uh, how to configure the Super Page uh, Cache plugin to use the Cloudflare uh, CDN uh, capabilities. So for that, uh, as part of the W B Cloud Run uh, instance. I'm going to go to the plugins, which is going to be installed, and I'm going to uh, select to activate the Super Page uh, Cache plugin. Uh, and I'm going to click on the Enable Page uh, Caching. So that's the first uh, option that uh, we will need. This one is an important option. And now Cloudflare uh, CDN uh, and Edge Caching. So what we want is the Edge uh, key. So this is available as part of uh, the main site in the overview section uh, that you want to be using and I'm going to click on uh, get your uh, API token and I'm going to click to see the API key and for that I'm going to fill out a uh, password and once I click view I'm just gonna copy it. I don't care because I'll mm -hmm. lose a whole uh, instance later on, and uh, I'll add it there. And I need my email, of course. And I'm gonna update the settings. And that's it. Uh, our caching uh, has been uh, configured now. I uh, can also, of course, select the domain name. And uh, once uh, that's uh, done, that's that's literally it. Uh, as part of the advance, I can also enable the preloader. Uh, yeah, it's already enabled. So that's it, uh, we're ready. Uh, and uh, I also want to show how as part of the caching in Cloudflare, we can see uh, that now with this plugin also uh, created its own uh, caching rule. And that's it, Our uh, that's it, our plugin has been enabled, we're ready to go. So let's uh, verify that our Cloudflare CDN proxy setup is working as it should. For that, I have a very nice website that allows me to do this. I'm gonna fill out the uh, the domain that we want to test the settings for. And now we can see that uh, Cloud is using Cloudflare CDN slash proxy. I can also do uh, the speed, uh, well, 
test the speed of the website and uh, what we get because now it's testing the server location in Vancouver, Canada, which should be very far away from uh, where it's deployed on in uh, Amsterdam. So let's see what are the results uh, that we get for this. And I'm getting an A, so performance 80. So this is really great. This is coming in from Canada. And then, so the last thing I want to do, I basically now switched uh, to a uh, VPN in the United States. So uh, my is, um, well, I'm not even in this might be Mexico. Uh, yeah, it is, uh, well, regardless. So uh, if I now go to the cloud, uh, uh, well, how is like that? The cloud, the site is literally loading within single second and it's coming all the way from Mexico or United States and uh, in, uh, Amsterdam. So, yeah, that uh, I think that checks out the speed test.